G'day guys, it's Max here, and today we're going to be learning how to fly the initial pitch in the DCS Hornet. So before we get into the jet, let's take a look at the diagram. The initial pitch is a visual procedure which can start at the initial, or from a right or left initial, which is basically a 45 degree intercept onto the final approach course. So the initial part is 7 nautical miles from the threshold and the pitch is the actual brake turn overhead the airfield and that is conducted at 1500 feet AGL. I'll be flying this at 1690 feet above mean scene level to avoid any terrain elevation changes prior to reaching the airfield. Okay so we're now established at 3000 feet doing about 400 knots now. ATC is kept at as 3000. And because this is a visual procedure, we're taking a look over at the airfield to make sure we have the airfield in sight and the ground and we can keep tracking towards it. Able 15, clear visual approach, fire right, initial runway 27 at 10, attack and contact, Minhat Tower, stud 1. Clear visual approach, right, initial at 10, attack and stud 1, Maple 15. So we've been cleared for the visual approach, we can now start our turn in and descent. So the key thing to remember with the turn is we're not lining up with the runway, we're lining up with the taxiway or approximately offset to the dead side which is the non-active circuit side which in our case is to the left. Minhad Tower, Maple 15 initial. Maple 15, Minhad Tower, no circuit traffic. We're now coming in on approach and the key things to look out for is any circuit traffic the runway surface and to see if any aircraft are departing below us. This is very important as it is our job to separate with circuit aircraft. He's just sitting on the threshold. He's rolling now, he's rolling now. So two and three can land. Puck, break right, right downwind. He's airborne. As we approach to the pitch, we're making sure that 1,500 AGL and our speed is approximately 350 to 450 knots. We're checking left and right and on the pitch. We're shooting for about a G 1% of our speed, so 3.5 G. This will give us the perfect downwind spacing. The key thing here is to maintain the velocity vector close to the horizon so we don't drop altitude. We're watching for our reciprocal track of 0.85 and that will give us a downwind. Speed below 250, gear and flaps down. And we've got three greens. Now in the case of a pitch of 450 knots, we want to use a bit of speed brake here. So we're going to do the same pitch, aim for about 4.5 Gs initially, and put the speed brake full out. Now if you're flying with any wingman, 2, 3 and 4, would we'll just simply leave four seconds between each pitch and I'll give you the perfect Romo separation that you need. Now as we roll out onto downwind we're checking to make sure we've got our appropriate spacing which is the aim 9 is on or just below the runway and we are on speed and maintaining altitude. Once we're established on downwind, we're now looking for the base turning point, which is when the front or the rear of your AIM-9 rail passes the runway threshold, as we can see by the red box. We'll begin our base turn, which is a 30 degree turn, and we're aiming to get the nose down to about 5 degrees. Remember, power for altitude, pitch for speed. At this point, we can call the tower. Maybe 15, base 3 greens. Maple 15, runway 27, clear to land, check wheels. Runway 27, clear to land, Maple 15. As we keep coming around base, we want to keep making reference of the runway and remaining on speed. Through the turn, this requires more power, and as we come out of the turn here, we want to start anticipating with power corrections. Rolling on to final, we want to be on speed and placing the velocity vector anywhere from the touchdown markings from the beginning of the runway to 1,500 feet.
Unlike other aircraft, you don't typically flare the F-18, you just maintain the on-speed all the way down to the runway. You can chuck in a little bit of a flare to smooth out the landing, compared to a carrier landing. Down on the ground, speed break out, and below 100 knots we'll start our light braking. So that was the initial and pitch, if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you like this also leave a thumbs up and subscribe and turn notifications on. Cheers.